cards you have, you know, what relics you've got. There are always situations where you can quote unquote get away with it. All right, already looking at taking 100 gold here as a starting bonus, but let's see the rest of the act. That's a good act. Ooh, I like this. I want that. I want that for sure. Get the Burning Elite done, get lots of relics, get lots of upgrades with Guardian at the end of the act. Choo choo, Twitch chat. Capitacular. At the very end there, Croco Taco, thanks for three months. And Lunar Huntress with 200 bits. Is this a searing blow layout? Oh, it could be. Yeah, we could get five upgrades in Act 1. So you could you could feasibly take a Searing Blow um, early on. Definitely. That does make me want to start here rather than here. Get a little less time before the shop. One less event before the shop could be a big deal. I think ideally I'd want to take something like this as, as my path. So you get a solid three elites there with the fire before the first elite. Um, but we can instead do this. We get one more combat, one less event before the shop, which is fine. Um, and then if we do find a stirring blow, we can opt. I'm gonna mark this in white here. How's it going? Noober than you, wow. Welcome, welcome. And Pocketchu, thanks for the Prime sub in the two months. Gotta keep the Prime sub awake. Have I made a Who Needs Relics vid? I sure have. I even uh, take it into a heart kill, just to, to show off how you could do that. Um, so yeah, let's start, uh, let's start here with 100 gold. Then we should have more than enough to buy a Relic at the first shop. We can also buy a card or two. Steve O'Man with the Prime sub in 39 months. Happy New Year. All right, perfectly fine first draw. Not a high roll on the Cultist Health, so this will probably go pretty well. Three strikes next turn would kill, although we're not particularly likely to draw three strikes. Indeed. Um, next turn, Bash and Strike will kill, so we can defend twice here. Do I enjoy the daily climbs with their silly modifiers? I did at one point. Um, I find that, that some of the modifiers of that the daily rolls can get really repetitive. For example, um, all of the runs with the Cursed modifier, where you start with Cursed Key and Darkstone Puriapt and Duvu Doll. They all kind of feel the same. Uh, and that quickly resulted in not wanting to play the daily anymore because I've I, I've done the modifier run, and I don't really feel the need to do so anymore. So we're offered perfected strike floor one. I think that's perfectly fine, as an early card does great damage. Um, if we really want to truly believe in searing blow, you could pick take armaments here, but uh, I wouldn't do that here. I think we want to get geared up for this first elite for sure. Let's take Perfected Strike. And we upgrade two random cards for 23 health. I think this early on, it's actually super worth it because we're likely to get a health refund from the next two combats just for having these upgrades. Even if we only upgrade two strikes or two defends here or one, in e one of each is also perfectly fine. Um, those upgraded cards will pay for themselves. I assure you. Uh, this might be three strikes into the spike slime. We deal 18, bring it to 15. Then perfected strike and strike will kill. What about bash and strike plus? That would be six plus... Yeah, more than nine. Six plus ten, I think. Let's hit you three times. So yeah, we take four rather than taking more than four. And then we've still healed two from this fight, which is pretty good. 
Flyback, thanks for the two months of support. Not bad. Battle trance. Yeah, we. if we had picked armaments first, we'd be super sad right now. Give me a battle trance. Card draw is spectacular. Uh, at zero cost. Uh, I almost always think the first battle trance is just really, really good, usually. Huh. Interesting shop here. Not a particularly thrilling shop. Nothing here that really stands out as super duper strong. There is Frozen Eye. That would allow us to view our draw pile in order. That's pretty useful for knowing whether we should battle trance, um, for knowing whether we should wake up Lagavulin, that kind of stuff. Doesn't seem like it adds that much to the deck right now, but over the course of a run, this can definitely do some cool stuff for you. Doesn't feel like it does stuff right now, though, which is a little disheartening. Doing stuff right now might be Nunchaku, giving us energy every three or four turns. Havoc on sale with the Frozen Eye? Now, wait a minute. That's kind of cool, actually. Have I ever had a lesson learned upgrading Searing Blow? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. My father, thanks for the prime sub in the nine months. How good is Frozen Eye, really? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. How good is Nunchaku, really? Dang. Certainly gonna buy a relic here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see how often that actually helps us. Um, do I buy the block potion? Yeah, we go Havoc, surely. Let's try it. Let's try it. So, for example, we know Havoc would hit Defend here. It's kind of cool. Uh, next turn, this would do 13 plus 27. 40 damage. So, you're dead, I believe. Very clean fight. Speed Potion's cool with uh, Ancient Pot. And I'm definitely down to add a Twin Strike here. Although Trugit is a little tempting. We should add a bit more damage for the uh, Elite here. This is a card that on its own is not bad. 10 damage for one energy, and it improves the damage of the Perfected Strike. Immediate Frozen Eye value. Yes, uh, I absolutely needed Frozen Eye there to let me know what order the only two cards in the draw pile were so that I knew not to play my Battle Trance. Yeah, super needed Frozen Eye for that. Senna, thanks for 19 months of support. Havoc's actually a half-decent upgrade here. We could also upgrade the Perfected Strike to hit really hard as we go into our first Elite. I think I'm going to upgrade P-Strike. But that Havoc might not be long behind. Assuming we get to upgrade again. Stop, thief! Okay, so we draw a Perfected Strike, huh? We do Battle France Perfected Strike. Yeah, we're never killing next turn if I full block this turn. We have to do 22 next turn, which we do. Okay, cool. Very smooth fight. Already this is putting in some work, I feel like. Aw, oh, sweet. Perfector Strike. Or a Havoc. Or a Havoc. Havoc hits regular Strike. Which means I could play Twin Strike next turn. This has got to be Bash Strike Plus, surely. 
the next turn perfected strike strike then we win yeah pretty clean kill i think yeah would also make the perfected strike re weaker that's correct we just take eight and win here i believe yeah might have been able to defend one time for two more health makes no real difference though White Bee statue is pretty sweet. I think Bloodletting is pretty sweet, allowing us to trade health for energy here in a deck with a few two-cost cards and a Battle Trance. This is a pretty good start. Yet another Havoc, by the way. It's pretty funny. Could also take another Twin Strike here, although I'd rather take Pummel Strike. That's all right. We're certainly on track to kill the Burning Elite, no problem here. But would Calipers be good here? I mean, Calipers are kind of an ironclad specialty. We'll take them. Even if they're not immediately useful, there's super powerful long-term utility there. We could take Event or Combat, actually. Combats give us more card rewards. We're still looking for maybe a block card with which to beat Guardian. I do not feel like we have that Guardian fight locked down very well. That said, this could be an upgrade or a removal, both of which would help against Guardian as well. If only I'd taken the floor one in Trench. That's right. Combat's also a guaranteed potion, so let's go for the combat here. It's a tough fight, but that's fine. Probably just have to use the fire pot, looks like. Oof, what a draw order, though. Love that I needed to be one card further down. Um, actually, let's Ancient Potion the weakness here. This should do 33, or is it just clean 30 right now? We have 8 strikes, so it's 6 plus 24. It's 30. 30 damage. And this brings you to exactly 30. Okay, that's not too bad then. Next turn we perfected strike, defend, and then the fight is ours from there. We'll take up to seven on this turn. Yeah, seven. Not too bad though. a lot of Havocs. Uh, Bludgeon with Havoc seems pretty sweet, though, right? This is just a really good card to, to top deck. We can do some manipulation. Like, th this deck wants a war cry now. Give me that bonk. Block card would be good, too, though, as mentioned. Ow. Uh, we can deal up to 22, 42 damage. Bummer. Big bummer. Let's establish this as 30. Next turn, we perfected the strike. Battle Trance, defend plus. We only take a little bit next turn, but we take 12 this turn. Kind of stinks. Um, so we need to get somebody to 30 health here. You. And then we work on this one. <laughs> and then we bonk. This will shuffle the deck, not yet. Bonk first. Fire pot saves 12. Let's do it. Good fight. We get a ceramic fish and a fire pot. And rage is better block than nothing. So I'm going to take it here. A little worried at the moment. 
upgrade rage. We have to upgrade it so that it's actually positive block against Guardian in the uh, defensive mode turns. With the fish synergy. And our last elite will be Gremlinob again. Yes, yes, Rorg. We get it. Okay, we don't win next turn unless they play Battle Trance. Is that correct? That sure looks correct. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Legend on bottom here. I have to use Battle Trance and Havoc, it looks like, to actually kill him. Let me just double check. Next turn, if I draw Perfected Strike minus, that's going to be 22 do 32 damage. Does not have 32 health. So yeah, I need to battle trance and havoc here. Or fire potion. I guess we could just use the fire potion. Um, if I use fire potion, we deal another 22. That alone won't be enough. We have to at least battle trance. Although, what if I just havoc? No battle trance. We play defend plus. Two skills. So that's actually only taking six then. We can perfect its strike. I think that's the way to do that. So the next turn we draw perfected strike, twin strike, fire pot. That's pretty good. Getting frozen eye doing good work here, letting me choose which potion I get to spend. Basically. We have a flex pot and a happy flower. And, uh, yeah, block cards are not allowed, so True Grit would have been nice. Really nice. I want this Evolve, kind of. But honestly, right now, I'm actually quite worried about the Guardian fight. To the point where I think we might need to rest. Yeah, I can't take any of these cards. Bummer. So we're definitely going to have a tough Guardian fight before us. We've only got four defends, a bunch of attacks, and rage. How's it going, DRZCF? Welcome, welcome. Could upgrade a defend. I don't think that'll be as good as resting. Could upgrade bludgeon too. Or bash. I don't know how often how long those cards are gonna stay in the fight though. We could upgrade battle trance, and that's not a bad idea. Helping us cycle the deck more. I'm sleeping. Let's see how this goes. So yeah, Havoc would hit Battle Trance, and I might need to do that. Rip Battle Trance. Otherwise, I have to... Or had to have Flex Potion on this turn. This won't transform, right? Yeah, we have to Havoc Battle Trance. Or I had to spend the Flex Potion. I'm cool with this. I still have to spend the Flex Potion. This works out, though. Next turn, we can hit with uh, Vulnerable Perfected Strike if we want to. Yeah, I miscounted there. That's fine. I want to defend bludgeon. I can't bludgeon and peace strike. I would do both if I could. Just eat all of the damage here. This is an okay time to use the weak potion. Saves three plus four plus eight across the next three turns. Ow. Oh. 
Dark. To defend. That way I draw Rage next turn. That sounds grand. I'll play a strike here. GG. Okay, we would have barely won without resting, but that's only because we got a pretty favorable draw order here. You can see we're definitely able to, or definitely losing health at a steady rate in this fight, but able to prevail by trading our health away. So we're through. I'll take that W. Even if we didn't get an upgrade, we still have lots of upgrades from the past act. We're offered a block card. Impervious is real nice with calipers. Demon form, slow strength scaling seems difficult to use. Or immolate for AoE damage, which we currently lack. I definitely like immolate here. But I also like the Impervious. I think they're both pretty good. Act 2 definitely wants us to have that AoE. Mostly for Gremlin Leader, who I think will be really tough without AoE. I guess I'll take the AoE. I really wish I could take Impervious here. Ooh. Choices, choices. This is one of my uh, actually favorite situations for Pandora's box. It's not a Snekoi, indeed. Pandora's box would transform nine cards, five strikes and four defends. We do lose one upgraded strike and one upgraded defend, but we also get nine times nine, 81 additional gold from Ceramic Fish, which is kind of huge. 81 gold for picking Pandora's box. Or we can go more energy here. Busted Crown is a hard no thank you, but we could take Fusion Hammer here and lose access to upgrades. Although we have many cards that would love an upgrade. Battle Trance, Bloodletting, Bludgeon, you name it. Rip Perfected Strike? Well, that's what they think. They do, they do get worse, it's true. But what if they get better? They didn't get better, but we did get another Havoc and a Warcry and a Headbutt, which I think is really sweet, as well as two Sentinels to let us cheat the energy game. I think we're going to be able to do some stuff. Some really good stuff. If only I had Strength Scaling now. Definitely want to add Strength with a Heavy Blade and a Boomerang. But that's pretty cool. We now have ways to put cards, specific cards, on top of the Tural pile, whether they be in our hand or in our discard pile. Sure, there's no block cards, but don't worry about that yet. That's a problem for future us. Huh. These shops are a little bit awkwardly placed. If I want to fight more than one elite, I have to skip the shops. I don't know that I want to skip the shops. Shoot. Also, I think we do want to remove one or two cards pretty desperately here. Our act boss is going to be Bronze Automaton. So what if we did something like this? Since apparently immediately is the only time we're allowed to go to a shop. Otherwise, we have to do this one right before the Automaton after a whole act of fighting stuff. Maybe we could pull that off, but I don't know. DRZCF, thanks for the tier one sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. The first time chat immediately followed by a sub. Always love to see it. But yeah, we could go for the Elite first. There's also this line, right? We would maybe take a couple of events. I don't think we're that good at fights right now. Given that we guaranteed get a uh, potion for every combat, though, that is pretty sweet. And we can do more elites into the late shop. I guess we're not that bad currently. And we can even opt into an extra elite here if we're feeling really strong. 
Okay, let's see how our first fight goes here. This is already a good one. Oh, this is already a really good one. There are many ways to go about this. Curious. I have extra energy this turn if I want it. Just double perfected strike right now. Pretty good damage. He strike headbutt havoc. Draw this next turn. Seems kind of weak though. Is there any way to get havoc to hit that bludgeon? Doesn't look like it. So by havoc, I hit battle trance. We draw to heavy blade here. Doesn't quite seem to work out. So our best damage is what exactly? Hmm. I think it is Peace Strike, Headbutt, Peace Strike, Havoc. Let's just do that. I could Bloodletting to deal nine, only if I calculate that I'm going to need nine. I actually don't have to draw here, right? So we're going to have to do... It's going to gain, what, 35? Yeah, block 35. So it's going to have another 59 health that we need to deal with. Let's see. This deals 32. I'll have one more energy to play the Havoc, but that would only hit Warcry. Or I could draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hmm... Fastest frozen I run? Maybe. Probably not. Um, so maybe just assume 32 here. That means we need to do another 27. This would be not enough. So if I go all out, we only just barely get there. Is that what I'm seeing? Let's see a better option. We just attack, attack, attack. Um, get bonked here. Because that's still not a bludgeon kill, but now it is. Okay. I don't love that, but I don't hate it either. There's a way to go through the fight. Dupe Pot's pretty strong. Armaments is objectively a block card. It can also upgrade stuff. Both of those seem pretty okay. Strikes for bites, except I have no strikes to lose. We would gain 45 additional additional gold. Does that does that really matter? I don't necessarily think so. I don't think I'm going to take these. Very well. Oh, here we go, though. We can get jaxed, transform two cards, or gain additional strength on turn one. What if I transform both perfected strikes? What then? We have our strength gain. We have a demon form now and a metallicize to block. So we have demon form, sword boomerang, heavy blade, scaling. But sometimes scaling is not enough because you need actual cards that do stuff. Pot saves 11. What about uh, colorless potion first? Try using that first. The bomb. Or Master of Strat, which would draw Rage, Armaments, Sword, Boomerang. I guess the bomb is fine. Then I could play Shockwave, Metallicize, perhaps. That seems reasonable. Keep the Dupont. For a more difficult fight. We just want to block a lot here. Havoc hits Havoc hits Metallicize. So it seems. Hey, yeah. 
Use you both. I'm gonna headbutt Havoc now. Thanks. Or wait, no. Uh, that won't work. Battle Trance, actually. Havoc puts a card back on top also, I see. I goofed that. Slightly. Yeah, I goofed that slightly. Except the bombs got him, so I didn't. Easy game. Hummel Strike? Or maybe a Flex? Flex to have a zero cost card. Needs an upgrade, though. And there's many things that need an upgrade, so I'm not sure it would get the upgrade it would need. Yeah, not enough draw for flex. Maybe we take a Pummel Strike then. Having a draw one effect is actually really useful because this can change what our Havoc is hitting. Let's take the Pummel Strike. All right, double dupe pots. I shouldn't be afraid to use them if necessary here. Next turn, we have some stuff. Cool, we can do, we can do shenanigans next turn, looks like. Take that, fiend. Please block again. Thank you. So I can battle trance. War cry to put demon form on top of the deck. Play it with havoc. Play shockwave. So our turn was shockwave demon form. Pretty sweet. Except he's still not dead, unless I use a dupe pot. I might as well, because, well, be statue. So let's just absolutely crush this fool, I suppose. And I would like Happy Flower on two for the elite fight. Which we could go into immediately, actually. Think about that. Oops. That would do a lot less damage for some reason. Uh, happy floor on one it is, I guess. We want a ghostly armor. We don't really have room to upgrade True Grit, but having a block 10 for one seems pretty solid. Grab that. I think I can handle this elite. Yeah, kind of. Let's do it. First up is Gremlin Leader. And what a turn one it is. Okay, we have Immolate next turn. It's no good, though. It's quite a bummer, actually. Gotta be Armaments, Twin Strike, Metallicize, I guess? I guess so. Dupe Demon Form? I wish. We get completely destroyed next turn if I do that. We have to kill a Gremlin on this turn so that there's at least a chance we don't get destroyed. McLow! Thanks for the 28 months. Been nice being able to watch the stream with kids and not worry about things being inappropriate. Yeah, glad to hear it. I try to keep a usually reasonable uh, content. The occasional cuss word, but nothing major. Let's try that. Okay, we did not get attacked, thank goodness. Pummel Strike, Immolate doesn't kill, unfortunately. Oh, but I can do Pummel Strike, Immolate, Headbutt, Immolate. Now that seems good. Sure, give me more Gremlins. I'll kill him. I don't think I won't. Battle Trance draws three. Havoc would currently Havoc would hit Sentinel. 
Or I can work cry emulate on top, but I think I want the work cry. Though playing the Sentinel does not actually help me here, is that correct? I don't really want this to be my draw next turn. This is bad. We need to upgrade Immolate, apparently. I could dupe it now. This really depends on where Sword Boomerang goes, but I'd have to... Hmm. If we put Havoc on top, next turn the Havoc will hit Bludgeon. Actually, that's true as long as we put any card on top. We just have to put a card on top. So I might as well put Ghostly Armor. That way, in case I need the block, we have the block. So I'm not playing Havoc. That's what I decided, for sure. Next up's another Elite. How much do we trust Sword Boomerang here? Not very much is the answer. Not very much. We get attack next turn, it's gonna be pretty catastrophic. Well, maybe not that bad actually. We can shockwave ghostly armor. Yeah, this feels like the right time to, to do pot. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Good. So we can shockwave havoc the bludgeon. Bonk. I'm gonna leave ghostly armor to exhaust. So that we're more likely to get a kill now. Seems good to me. Reasonably happy with how that went. Or Calcum's pretty nice for guaranteed block. Do we ever take a clash? Probably not. Hey, big herbs. I think Metallicize is very good if you get it if you get it in Act One. So we've been taking it a little bit more. Um, these ones were actually, I believe, both transforms, so purely coincidental on this one. Actually, no, one of them I picked on purpose, I think. No, 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 it, no, it was a different transform. That's right, yeah, they were both transforms. So, to totally co coincidental here. Um, that fight definitely told me we have to upgrade Immolate. So I guess we're going to do that now. And then we should be able to fight another Elite, even though this potion's not that good. It's good enough for slavers, because um, we can't get entangled. Well, that's not quite true, actually. Anyway, here's the Book of Stabbing. Oh, so close to Havocing the Demon form turn one. Hang it. Really close, actually. Um, we can Havoc Headbutt to Headbutt Havoc, although I wouldn't want Havoc back on top. We essentially replace Headbutt with one of the other cards. Boomerang is okay. Not really, though. Or Calcum will block next turn. So next turn's probably Shockwave. It's chilly, chilly with 32 months. Yeah, this is not a particularly good turn, but what can you do? What can you do? Not much. So what am I actually going to headbutt, though? Arma? We can Arma the Shockwave? That seems like a good idea. Yeah, Armaments. Armaments. We upgrade Havoc here so I can play all the cards. Next turn, Arma Shockwave. Following turn. Uh, hmm. I guess Bludgeon or something.
Take some damage on this turn. Actually, we can use Warcry to put Bludgeon on top. It's pretty sweet. So, Battle Trance first. This here. Havoc. Let's attack. Let's take only five. Next turn doesn't look good, though. pretty bad. And this is also bad. Oh, shoot. Garbage. Immolate Sword Boomerang won't kill next turn. She will it? That's 42 plus 12. Now we're too short. So we take another round of damage here. Ouch. Technically, this is better block. We can rest, right? Yeah, we can rest. It's a real bummer. You know, we'd have hope if it weren't for Rose and I here. Ah, I feel like we could have done two more damage somehow, surely. At least we block 12. We only take 18 on this turn. Certainly a spooky fight. However, we get the courier meaning we're massively rewarded for holding all our cash. And block-wise, we can either take an Arma Plus or a Shrug. I think this deck wants an Arma Plus, honestly. Especially if I'm resting. Yeah. If Design, thanks for the Prime. Thank you, thank you. The shop is going to be sweet. Ink Bottle's good. Draw more cards. Battle Trance will shut it down sometimes, but... Uh, I really like Ink Bottle with the Frozen Eye, actually. Let's us know ahead of time if the Frozen if the Ink Bottle is planning on betraying us. And we can plan accordingly. Wait, I just rested! No! <laughs> Alright. Bummer. So here we give up a card. If we give up an uncommon card, we get a full heal. If we give up a rare card like Bludgeon, we get a full heal and 10 max health. Uh, we could also give up the demon form, but I'm thinking about giving up bludgeon here. Or we could lose one of the metallo sizes and get a full heal. But I think I want that full heal plus. It's not an upgraded bludgeon. Flames burst, nearly knocking you off your feet. Uh, so we boomerang first here for information. Yes. Nice. So yes, pummel into havoc. Hit the immolate. Knock the bird out of the air. I could ancient pot this debuff. I might as well, right? We get a new potion. Then I can play all the skill cards I want. No attacks in this hand. Do I need to play the demon form? Hope not. Certainly hope not. Although I could with bloodletting here. If I play another card, we miss our ink bottle draw. But I'd like to draw these six cards next turn, so I'm just going to stop here. That way I can shockwave, rage, twin strike, headbutt. Seems good to me. I'm 
take some damage, but we have lots of health. Hmm. Not the draw I wanted. Bummer. A whole lot I can do here either. Funky situation. Just an X with a 32 months of support. Do we take a combust so we have some AoE? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm, I'm happy skipping these. Second headbutt. Actually, yeah, second headbutt could be okay here. With all the Havocs and the Frozen Eye stuff. Let's grab one more of those. We also get some uh, some more money. How much Domekeeper did we end up doing? We did maybe 20, 30 hours. I could see myself going back to Domekeeper a little bit more. And I owe the crowd a dad joke for Chunt. Why did the slavers move their business online? Because they're a big fan of the net. No refunds, twist yet. Okay, we do have a duplication potion available. Doesn't do much here though. Although I also have this. So actually, we can Arma Telesize Havoc this. Seems okay. I can do a fair bit. Gives me three energy. We can do Bash Twin Strike at least. Might as well play Essence of Steel here. Um, there's no way to get a kill, surely. Even if I dupe pot Bash or dupe pot Heavy Blade, we don't kill the Red Slaver here. Right, we do 10 plus 28. It's not enough. 24 plus 10, yeah, not enough either. Or, yeah, 28, rather. Still not enough. We have Headbutt, Havoc, Shenanigans next turn. No Immolate, though. It's the very bottom card, unfortunately. So it goes. So it goes. Um... So, apparently we're going to Havoc Pummel Strike, drawing Warcry. Headbutt to Havoc the Heavy Blade, although it's a random target, unfortunately. You had one job, Immolate. Uh, so the uh, Bridey Game giveaway we, giveaway we did over the weekend, the giveaway is closed. And winners were uh, drawn and emailed this morning, actually. So if you won the giveaway, you should have received an email from yours truly uh, a couple hours ago. We finished Disco Elysium. We sure did. It was quite a joy, that game. Hmm. Could Duke Pot headbutt? There's a thought.
one short of getting a kill that way, unfortunately. I just play the hand, I have one, two, three, four... Can't play the other cards. Five cards played, so we're one card short of... Ink bottle stuff. Although that's not quite true. So I can maybe play the war cry, but then we're putting a card on top. Awkward. Yeah, rage first happens no matter what, that's true. Also do shockwave. But shenanigans. Or we could headbutt the Havoc so that Havoc plays Havoc for another Ink Bottle play. I don't think that matters. I think that matters. But actually, maybe it does. Maybe that gets me to the other headbutt. All right, let's try it. Oh, we hit him anyway. Okay, that's much less shenanigans necessary. But yeah, now we can play Metellus Eyes. Followed by Warcry to get the headbutt. Target the headbutt on that guy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And the next turn, I want what? Pop card would be Sentinel. Give me Havoc then, I guess. Although I'll have four energy anyway. Don't want Rage. <laughs> I guess I'll take Arma. Yeah, I'll take Arma. Okay, we're doing fine here. Immolate. Long time no see. Passively block 15. Seems okay. Actually play that. How much does this deck improve by one true crit? Quite a bit. Definitely a substantial improvement. Ron scales are here. Feed. What about a feed? I have no reason not to take a feed. Give me that. That'd be nice uh, Act 3 material. I don't expect to use it on Bronze Automaton here, but it could happen. Um, things that are awesome here are many, many sweet things here. One, we're rich, so we can buy relics on the cheap. Bag of preps definitely good. Is Spoon good? Cards that exhaust when played will instead get discarded half the time. That includes the card Havoc is playing, which is maybe something I want to exhaust, but also maybe not. I'm not actually convinced that's true at the moment. Let's buy the bag of prep first. We're always getting this. Kunai. Kunai could definitely do some work in this deck. It's a bit expensive, though. I don't love it. This deck does not yet have an Evolve, and I think we probably do want one. I also, quite frankly, I would like to see what power is behind Evolve. If there's a Feel No Pain or a Dark Embrace, I want it. Is that a reusable Warcry? My god. And Eric, thank you so much for the eight months and the th Tier 3 sub, two cubed. See what Evolve has behind it. In Flame. I think I am gonna take that. A fire breathing I won't take. We're also gonna remove a card. Oh, I remove one of the metallicizes. We might have too many powers here. Although I like them for the bronze automaton fight. We lose bash, I guess. But it's nice to have a reusable vul vulnerable source. Could remove the unupgraded armaments. It's 
not unreasonable. It's a decent defend. Sword Boomerang is not a terrible removal. Although with the Demon Form and the Inflame, it's a lot better now. I'll keep it. I guess I'll remove Bash. It's fine. Do I want T-Set? Let's help us in the Automaton fight. It's really nice with the Bag of Prep. I'll buy the T-Set. Which means no Ornithopter for us. Keep the rest of the cash. I don't have Flex, right? I don't want Panacea. Okay. Kind of a middling shop. Uh, I think we want an upgraded Demon Form, especially with a Dupe Pot, right? We just... If we do pot Demon Form Plus, surely we just win the Automaton fight with no problems. So let's do that. And we're fighting a big old golem. What's the golem got for us today? Demon Form's a little bit further down than we would like, but so, uh, so it goes. We can definitely play in Flame... Hummel Strike at a minimum here. Havoc this Bloodletting into play, or yeah, Havoc the Bloodletting into play. Get rid of Shockwave, might as well. And then we're on nine with Ink Bottle. Adequate. I'll keep the feed though. So they take the rarest card in the draw pile. That means they might steal our demon form here, this one. Which means we should attack that one. All of our might. They take our demon form, we're going to have a bit of a bad time. Don't be a shame. here. Yes, they do take demon form. That's concerning. So now it's going to take forever to put demon form in play. Frog style, thanks for the 19 months of the prime sub. Here's to a cozy 2024. Okay, I can headbutt Warcry, right? That'll work. Oh, but I gotta hit about two cards. That still works, yes? Not really. Uh, we're gonna need Warcry and Havoc then, I think. You're dying to immolate, so I can hit but uh, you. Full Metal Alchemist with the Prime Sub. Still dead inside with the Prime Sub. Thank you both. would hit Battle Trance. Yeah, that's fine. We redraw Havoc. That's kind of cool. So we play Immolate. Demon Form gets put in play. War Cry, put Demon Form on top. Havoc it. This too. It's nothing really. Um, so I guess we're not using the Dupont. Well, Essence of Steel instead. Like this, I guess. Still might have to use the Dupont later. This is looking pretty good, although it looked better with a... I'm gonna draw Rage right now. No, no, no. I wanna... If that's something to draw into. I wanna draw here. I guess I wanna Rage Havoc the Heavy Blade. 
have it on top for next turn. And then... Give me, I guess, headbutt? No. Part I'm not gonna play. Give me the other Havoc so I can upgrade it. But I'm not gonna play it. Okay. Seems good. This is complicated sometimes. Yeah, we could block for five by playing the feed. I'm still gonna hold out hope that we get to eat with feed. Ow. Correctly. It looks like I get to feed now. Wonderful. Keep our duplication potion. We land the feed. We even said happy flower to two for the next act. And we're offered offering. We can get our bludgeon back, or we can take a second demon form. I think I personally want an offering here. We already have lots of good cards. We just need to be able to play all of them. And it's yet another card draw card, yet another good thing to exploit with Frozen Eye. Cool. Very cool. Oh. Well, I mean, Sozu with the White Bee Statue is usually not very good. Runic Pyramid is very good with armaments and feed and stuff. So, yeah, I'm taking a Runic Pyramid. No longer discard your hand. I particularly, particularly like Runic Pyramid with Bag of Preparation here because we start with seven cards. Heck, even more, arguably, with the Ink Bottle, and then we can start retaining right away. We've got Happy Flower for energy. We've got Sentinel and Havoc for energy. Now we want a True Grit, by the way. And we've got Bloodletting for energy, too, and Offering. So I'm not actually worried about energy one bit here. Not even a little bit. Um, we can avoid shops entirely this act if we want to. Maybe take a path that looks like this. Fights are pretty good, as we can reasonably expect now to get an upgraded feed in every single combat. Plus four hit points per fight, minimum. Well, maybe not minimum. There is transient, after all. But mostly guaranteed. Looks good to me. I'll play four powers. Actually, I actually have to do a lot less thinking with the Frozen Eye now that we have Pyramid. Rather convenient. Can upgrade this whole hand. Do it like this. I'm gonna go headbutt. Headbutt. Draw three. Havoc demon form. Seems good. Seems really good. Block with this. Uh, ink bottle or whatever. Havoc immolate, draw feed. Upgrade feed. Rage. 
There's 32. It's kills. Very good fight. Body slam is a lot better, but we don't really have that much block yet. I'm just going to skip these. There is no need. Excuse you. I guess I can just headbutt Havoc the Ghost Lane, that's fine. Still play Offering if I want to. Very well. Steppo says, why take fights over events? Is it more consistent for long streaks? That's partially it, but the, the much simpler answer here um, for Ironclad, as is often the case, is feed. Every time we fight something, we can eat for max health. And that's exactly what we want. Hello. This is not what we want, though. This is terrible. Please. Uh, awful. Truly awful. Thank you, or a Calcum, I guess. Make sure we can do enough here. This will be 16 times 3. That won't kill you, but it will kill you. Kill this one. Ouch. Classic Darklings fight. And they're not even done messing with me. So it seems. So it would seem. Kill them both. It's too much damage. There we Surprisingly tricky, actually. This will still not kill. Um, Havocking the heavy blade would be too much, but 14-14, there we go. Delightful. One more Havoc for the road. I think we might lose the deck if we have too many of them. We do have to contend with potentially Time Eater after all, and Heart does Beat of Death things too. How would Double Tap be in this deck? Pretty okay. Pretty okay. Nothing amazing, but yeah, fine. It's Sentinel, huh? Damage headed my way if I don't block. So yeah, headbutt. Immolate. Just 
focus Arma, Arma, Metallicize. Get more immediate block with Sentinels. Let's do that. We're still seven short. There we go. Perfect block. Though we're not done, I see. There we are. Beautiful. We're gonna feel no pain. Ultis Potion could be good for the later game, although I think the Duke Pot's quite strong still. We just use the Cultist Pot here. This is a spooky fight. Double Spiker, double Repulsor. If I didn't have the feel no pain, this would be a lot spookier. You to play cards under these circumstances, though. Ha, indeed. But something, then draw three. Feed now. So we're not worrying about it. Shouldn't need to play offering in this fight, I don't think. That might change once we learn what we're up against properly. I like how they're alternating attacks here. It's cute. Take an Infernal Blade, but do I need to? I don't think so. Don't think so. I've already got over 100 max health. This was the one fight that could make us um, not able to land feed. So it goes. Uh, ideally, we just need to get Demon Form down basically as soon as we can. Looking like next turn, and then I can play offering, yeah? We just want to go rage, twin strike, but I guess the twin strike probably. Metallicize, take some damage. Could Havoc the twin strike, but then we can't Havoc demon form. Taking some damage is just reasonable here. Tough fight for this deck. We Arma first. No, we War Cry. Like that. Hmm. Let's 
offering won't get used. Kinda sucks. Should use that weak pot on turn one, but here we are. All good. Should be done taking damage now. At least one hopes. Embrace. When a card is exhausted, draw one card. I'm just missing a reusable exhaust card. Unfortunately. Little easier said than done there. Certainly not losing all my money for the red mask. No way. That's true. That can mess with our havocs. Sometimes that's fine. Sometimes that's a U K. All right, I've got a very gentle turn one. Pretty gentle turn two as well. Good, good sign here. should be pretty easy. Even if this does happen. Um, I guess we want to play Offering, huh? We need to, necessarily. this. Alright. Oh, Shoot. Bad timing. Uh, dang. Alright, well now I need to play it, presumably. acceptable. Perfect relic setup. Surely it's perfect. Skipping Kremlin Horn never feels particularly good, especially this late in the run when there could be a Reptomancer right around the corner, but so it goes. So I better use this Power Pot right now, then. What a real Dark Embrace. There's already one in my hand, though. Too bad. Another one. Flubbing back, probably. Okay, 
I think that'll probably be worth it, actually. Bunch. Might as well play this then. Here we are. Omabi with 13 months of support. Thank you, thank you. Eternal Feather, there's some healing for us, and the regen potion will also help. Second feed is a bit late, unfortunately, although we still could gain easily a dozen max health off of just the feed. There's a guaranteed four max, well, you know, potentially guaranteed four max health in the Donu Deca fight, potentially here and here as well, potentially in the Awakened One fight. But I'm going to take the Shrug Plus, because we're definitely hurting for block. good fight for the region potion yes might as well i also owe the chat a dad joke for five and off let this one go one's stored for this moment, but it's fallen out of the brain. Shoot. That poor camel. Poor camel. Here's one for you. Why did the butcher qu quit his job? Couldn't make the cut. New refunds to shut. So was it wasn't emotionally fulfilling his work, you see. The hours were too long and the pay was terrible. Couldn't make ends meet. I do like that one, actually. Uh, the dreaded double YOLO? No, the dreaded single YOLO. block 25 plus 12, which is way too much, quite frankly. I also have a lot of damage to deal next turn. Okay. 
Kevic back. I'm supposed to block this one. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were definitely made. Oh well, nothing for it now. Hit me. Yeah. Still can't do anything here. Ruples, thanks for the prime sub. Into the cozy zip club. Still not able to actually do any damage, huh? This isn't going well. Exhaust it yet. Neuromania with 36 months of support. Thank you for three full years. sure is important here. This wounds definitely become a problem. Definitely become a problem. These three, that's fine. Is it actually fine? Deeply unclear. Looks fine. block here so I can get the upgraded feed. Yoink. Now we sort of have a thing, actually. Sort of. America, thanks for the prime sub in the 17 months. Always good to see you, Cap. Captain, my captain. Actually, I have a 
done. Order though. Pretty decent block. Fine. I can block for a million here. Well, like 40. Plus one strength is ours. Another dark embrace, if we want it, is ours. Although I, I again struggle to see how we would even use two dark embraces. Seems fine. Uh, probably want to upgrade Entrench if we want a late game block plan here. It is green. True. It is green. And I really wish we had a True Grit or a Second Wind. Second Wind in particular would be absurd here. Or a Burning Pact. Or one of any other million things. Even an elixir, I guess, would be okay, right? No, it's fine. It's fine. Draw me some cards. Apparently, this is not correct. Although, if I headbutt a card, then Havoc hits Demon Form next turn, right? So we headbutt the Shrug here. To make Havoc hit Demon Form next turn. Definitely going to take some damage in this fight, and probably the next one, too. Just how it goes. Oh boy, and now we have a full hand. Definitely going to be tough to use. Now, this would go so much better if we could exhaust particular cards. Headbutt should be going. Get, should be used on Entrench. Ah. Let's upgrade everything in my hands. Upgrade this. Not playing any more block this turn. Is that true? It feels true. Okay. I'm falling behind here. I don't like it. So my inability to get energy generating cards to actually work together here. The current issue. Haven't made any energy yet. We power through and trench, but it does nothing. Kind of. Yeah. I would have to liquid memories it to get it to do stuff now. This is garbage. That's what this is. It's a bad time. When I only draw two more cards next turn, shoot. So I have to headbutt Havoc then. It'll hit feed. Ugh. Really sucks. Do 
to use the ink bottle. So play what? Uh, no, that won't work. The pummel strike. Then havoc. Will that work? I hope so. Oh, yeah. Actually, no. Even better. We do Rage. Epic. Here we go. Energy! Delightful, delightful energy. Forgot about Dark Embrace. This is what happened there. Havoc the other Sentinel. Here we go. And both armaments are towards the bottom, huh? Always feed on Decca, I guess. Spooky fight, that's for sure. set up at least... Yeah, Happy Flower will do. Minimum here. 50 kills. 34 doesn't kill. But Boomerang kills. Well, that's annoying. So I should be able to eat you next turn with the relic set up here. There we go. Okay, we have 53 hit points, which is quite a lot, actually, uh, for the Awakened One fight. We don't need to play too many powers here. Although I am going to play that demon form. Probably going to play it on turn one, even. It's a shockwave demon form. No, I can't play demon form if I shockwave. I guess Arma Demon Form is fine. Means we're going to lose health pretty quickly, though. I might be forced to use the Liquid Memories early with the Scroll Order. It's a little spooky. But getting Demon Form down turn one is definitely the, the surest way for this fight to go comparably smoothly. So I'll do 48 to all of them. Turn's gonna be a little scary, but I have rage. I 
Big problem here is that our powers clog our hand, and we have no way to get them out of our hands. That is spooky, actually. It's really terrifying. Also, I don't have a lot of block generating power. I would be very screwed here. big worry. So we're probably going to have to use at least one of these potions during this fight, although not yet, I guess. Probably only taking eight, uh, 10, go to 15, 15 is fine. Yeah, Dupe Pot in Trench or Liquid Memories in Trench are probably what we should use it for. Although, again, we'll have to be pretty careful. I can get rid of any card I want here. Um, so we could delete a Sentinel. Lightly tempting. This turn looks a little troublesome. More than a little bit, actually. I think the metallicizes seems iffy. At least with weaken, they're not that bad. Next multi attack turn is spooky, though. See, so, yeah, I guess I'll headbutt Sentinel and have a good. Play some more stuff. Although most of it is ours. Um, we should probably play Dark Embrace, Metallicize, Metallicize, I suppose. We're only taking one. And we have to win quickly. Okay, no, I'm not taking anything. Good. Okay, that's good, actually. It's pretty good. Got War Cry Havoc with Sentinel coming up next turn. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. So we're gonna go Heavy Blade Boomerang. Got no energy left. We can play the other powers now at least. I guess this ain't so bad. But with Dark Embrace, though, I can't actually make Sentinel work. Spooky. No Vuln either. Double spooky. So do we need the liquid memories here and now? Comes the question. We have enough money to buy a new potion. I guess I shouldn't be too worried here. Let's get that safety blanket out. Does dupe heavy blade win? No, not even close. It's only 62 damage at the moment. Though so surviving for a turn or two seems necessary. So yeah, let's go shrug. Power through. Entrench. Entrench. And I can havoc the boomerang if I want to. This is fine, actually. The next turn we have a headbutt. Headbutt the entrench. Draw the entrench. Play the entrench. Let's kill the pain first. It's all good. Calipers would be good here. I 
no energy. You have no health. Through that fight, two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room is this, the heart of the spire, the source of all this evil. Deal 2169 damage to the heart, nice. Causing it to squirm and bleed. Have we been here before? Probably, feels like we have. That is not enough of a heal, right? But that's not even close to enough of a heal. That's funny. Ouch. Uh, we were missing a lot of health there. I could rest again for 10 more hit points. That's not bad, actually. Or I can upgrade one card. Guess resting? Seems hard to imagine an, up an upgrade that saves 10 here. Maybe Dark Embrace. Maybe. I'll take the hit points. Bloodletting also, maybe. But with double armor plus, seems really unlikely, right? Seems really unlikely. If only we had ways to block the hearts. If only... Do we dig for True Grit? No, we don't need it. We got a Burning Pact. That's plenty. Dark Shackles also very nice. Thinking about Art of War here. Second Dupe Pot actually might be a thing also. Is Second Dupe Pot better than Fairy in a Bottle? I think it is. Because we have Entrench Calipers. So if we can Dupe Pot Entrench, Headbutt it, Dupe Pot Entrench again, surely we win. My only regret is that I can't buy Secret Technique and Second Dupe Pot. Centennial is also a good way to get card draw. That's true. Especially for Spear and Shield. But Hand Clog's a real thing. Maybe Gambler's Brew is worth it. What would Technique search for? Entrench. Just Entrench. What's behind the remove, though? Now, if we want energy, I'm thinking Art of War is the energy way. Gambler's Brew does seem really good. All right, we'll do Gamble Brew over Fairy. Plan to use this in Shield and Spear, maybe. pretty good turn one. Lots of block next turn two. Although not the ideal amount, but what can you do? I can maybe draw a lot of cards next turn is what I can do. We're mostly fine, though. I think feel no pain. Block pretty well here. I can do something like Headbutt, Havoc, 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 Immolate. It doesn't draw me a card, though. We just use the brew. The Gambler's Brew. 
Uh, although we should power through first. Power through the Gambler's Brew. Guess we should keep feed. Let's card one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw up to Entrench here, yeah. And then we can do Arma, Bloodletting, Shockwave, Dark Shackles. Cry. Rug. Metallicize and Trench. We could play Offering to keep doing more stuff, but we don't need to, so I won't. Art of War continues to crank out energy here. Good. Bonk this guy, I guess. It's the wrong order. I think we're good, though. We're good. We want to kill with incense burner on four, probably. block shouldn't be a problem. There we are. So we have full health, we have a boat thingy, we have a blessing of the forge, we have a disarm plus or a limit break. Holy moly, what a last minute find. Excuse me? I think with this deck we probably want the limit break, but uh, could be either way. Well, you're double. Now we're good. Let's take a limit break. Don't need the disarm in part because we have incense burner set to five. And in part... Oh my. Turn one demon form you shouldn't have. Convenient. We get Dark Shackles too, so we're super duper secure for a cycle. Uh, although this is not blocked to start doubling yet. Unfortunate coincidence of factors there. Oh well, we can at least upgrade the field of pain. And 
I might as well use Dark Shackles? Question mark. Which turns the big hit. Question is, do we play Shockwave before... Um, we get thrashed here. Could not have played that Arma. Does save six. It's actually better used next turn, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it will save more than six when used on the big hit here. Since it's Dark Shackles plus, minus 15 strength. Takes 67 all the way down to 45. And you know, that ain't so bad. Also, I think we can go block crazy here. I can do pot the entrench, go to 52 down to 50, go to 100 down to 98, then headbutt, then play it again. Seems all right. So that'll put us to about 200 block, which is more than sufficient. We still have the entrench. So no, we're not landing shockwave actually, unless we do some shenanigans here, uh, which I think I can do. Need to make sure there's three spots in the draw pile, which there will be now. So havoc the shockwave. Seems good to me. Just gonna head button trench. Deliciousness. GG. It's number three. GG. E if you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.